Hey, team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing great. I am back from vacation and hope you guys have a great Lunar New Year as well. Uh, we had a blast. It was went up to uh, San Jose. And if you can see in the background here, we're just playing, just doing a friendly game, just doing live and try this out. I've actually never done this before. We'll just actually play and do live action play and just pick one of my favorite battleships and playing around with Ohio, maybe Rhode Island. One of my two favorite battleships now, like Ohio, Rhode Island, and Illinois. I know they're all premiums and kind of overpowered, but anyways, they're, they're just fun. Uh, hope you guys had a great Lunar New Year. Uh, if you guys don't know, it just, it just uh, happened about a week and a uh, change ago. And it was the, this is the year of the dragon. As you can see in World of Warships, they're celebrating it heavily. And it's, I think that's really great and it's awesome. Um, I am, uh, of course, of you know Asian culture background and love the, the whole culture, love everything about it, love the food, love the friendships, love the, the, the best wishes, the family orientation, everything. So it's pretty awesome. And uh, while we're on that, we're also in clan battle season now, so I look forward to making more videos for you guys as well. Uh, doing the, uh, the clan battle season strategies, tips, and whatever to do to get better. And pretty awesome. So let's take a look at the lineup and match here. Look at that. We got Montana, Bismarck. Okay, so no carriers, thank goodness. So let's take a look. So how do I... Okay, now I actually zoomed out the camera a little bit more now. I, I mean, the reason... Um, this is how I used to play World of Warships. It used to be, like, kind of back up high kind of looking thing if you will it's really high up high camera angle wide screen so you can see so you can see kind of maybe where torpedoes are coming from and kind of getting a better uh i guess you could say a better overview of the battlefield and you can see where things are coming up so let's take a look at it right off the bat here where do, what side do we want to overpower well it looks like we already have All stations. Proceed to the west side at Alpha. Clear. So let's go to, uh, to Charlie. Let's support them. They don't have a battleship over there. We're, oh, whatever. We're, only, we're the only two, one of two battleships here. So we'll go support them. Anyways, how are you guys doing? Uh, did you guys have a good uh, February? So I can't believe it's already past halfway through February already. And man, it is already new World of Worship update, new World of Worship season, uh, new seasons uh, of the, this, uh, almost done with winter here. And we're actually moving through and getting things settled down. Just got back a few days ago. We, a lot, we, we went to, my family and I went to San Jose, got the kids out there, got to see the fireworks, so a lot of fireworks. It almost literally sounds like a battlefield. Um, being in the military, I've been in Iraq and Afghanistan, and man, the amount of fireworks they launch over there in California and San Jose, do they, it literally sounds like a war zone in every neighborhood. It's like literally, you know, those little firecrackers that the um, they do at Lunar New Year, and uh, uh, a lot of, I think it was Chinese, they call them Chinese firecrackers, where you, it's like a string of them. Um, I, that's how, what I always called them growing up. Uh, when you light them up, they're, they just make so started. much, you know, loud sounds. Go Google it or something. It is massive amounts of fireworks down there. It literally it sounds like a war zone. Oh, nice Wooster here. Let's take a pop shot. I put the 14 on the horizon line. So you can see right there, I put the 14. That's how I aim. Uh, for me, it works for something that far away. I kind of look at the timing here. If it takes about 12, 10 seconds, I usually kind of fire. Ooh, I got a hit. It actually kind of works. I work for about 11, 12, and I add about two seconds to it. So this is kind of like 14 seconds of there. That's how I kind of aim. Ooh, ouch. Dude, this is what happens when you're not focused on that Montana slap. And I'm going to go ahead and pop my heel and recover all that HP I just lost right there, because why not? I'm not going to need it any later in the game anyways. Might as well use it now. So I'm spotted from the moon here because this is more of a secondary focused build. And I'm trying to trying to see how that works still. Can you still brawl? Let's see if I can launch this guy. Let's see. Okay, he's turning away. I'm not going to fire there. Supporting my team at Charlie seems to be overwhelming here. And I've noticed, look at, look, at, look at how my team is going here. We're hiding behind an island here. And again, this is not trying to be negative. I'm trying to be positive here and be constructive. Hey, the team is we lost lead. one uh, DD over here, our Sherman gone. He he just, look, one DD events three with a radar with four ships in there, not fair. So I encourage guys, don't just rush your death that way. This is also kind of dumb. Like, why are guys like, well, like, what, look at down here. Why are guys hiding behind an island? What, what are you hiding from? Well, you're having an island here. Push forward. Look at these guys. At least they're moving together. Kind of, and look, we already lost the destroyer there. Look, Matina loses the most of the shores, loses the game. I'm getting shot at here because I'm the only big target. The ship is on fire. Here. Yeah, I'm the only one. I'm the only one spot, of course, as always. So, yeah, battleship life these days, right? I'm not going to damage calm. I'm going to wait till we, uh, we get double fires because we don't have fire prevention right now. Okay, Wooster right there. Uh, dang it. Nobody fought before. So there it is. There's the Wooster. Where's he at? Yeah, 
losing too much health. We're going to go ahead and pop the hill, recover that as best we can. Team is still hanging out in the back here. This is the World of Warships meta today. I don't know what to do, what to do to have a help. Look, lots all over the shores, so nothing you can do at this point. This game is pretty much uh, chalk up. If you lose literally three out of your four destroyers, I've always said, destroyer player is the key to the battle. And notice how the game's gonna turn out now. Okay, starting at my minute marker 16. We literally have three destroyers down. They literally did not know how to play the game. That's why I'm trying to teach guys how to play the game. And this is all you can do. Look, look, everybody's just going to sit in the back, run away, and this is what they get in the meta of World of Warships. It's fun for the other team. The enemy is about really, to actually, it's not fun for the other team because all they're doing is just sitting in the back. Nothing you can do. You're going to just sit in the back, bam. Yay, what do you do? Where's the enjoyment of that? Okay, there's a double fire going to hit and we kind of lost. Yep, that's first game coming back from holiday this is what it's going to turn out to be Ohio Butte, Ohio, uh, the Ohio battleship looks pretty pretty uh, sexy doesn't it I like this looking at the graphics sometimes it just looks awesome I like the thing I like about the Ohio and the Rhode Island is the heels uh, the uh, sorry, cooldown solved, time, 30, sir. seconds it's so awesome I can literally take damage all day long but how, what are we going to do uh, if <laughs> nobody's spotting for us nobody's going to do I guess we just got to push in right so we're going to I'm going to select the strategy of going down the flank here because that's all you can do is just go up the flank you eliminate 50% of where the fires come from which is my east side and wow we lost yeah that's how the games this is world of warships for you guys ladies and gentlemen so that was fun. Let's, uh, that was pretty bad. I'm going to try to battle on and try to do another one for you guys. That was pretty lame. Uh, but yeah, live action replay right there. Nothing I can do. You notice, again, it, it has nothing to do with the players or matchmaker. It literally is just the meta of today. Of the, People are so used to submarines being up front or something. And the, the DD player role, I think, is lacking these days. So that's why I'm trying to do these videos for tips, techniques, and strategies to get better as a DD player. Because if you have a literally a, um, uh, what do I call it? A liter a uh, matchmaking of terrible DD players, right? And you start off with that kind of what you just saw right there, where nobody knows how to play DDs. They all die right off the bat, and one team is down. The destroyer player. Notice how if you lose all your short players, nobody can come back. Most of the time, a team with other destroyers cannot come back. At least the game uh, make it so that the player that is in a battleship or cruiser can come back and win the game but i haven't seen them in there you can watch some of these replays Action online that stations. maybe onesie twosie guys will save the day and be a solo warrior but the game is unbalanced in the sense of if you have terrible destroyer players and you can't seem to get it right or going and again that talks about leadership right there the destroyer player is the leader of the team because you are out front you have the best concealment uh, before submarines of course submarines have the best concealment of the game you can't have a good destroyer player uh, makeup, then your team is pretty much over. You might as well call the game, like you just saw right there, because one, it provides no spotting. You can't cap. You've already, you're already losing points on two ends right there. You can't do anything. You can't your team. No smoke, no spotting, no um, spotting of. I mean, the destroyer player is the first guy to get spotted by aircraft. They're also, the guy that has to deal with destroyers these days, but unfortunately, destroy, as destroyers are getting eliminated by submarines. So. The game is pretty much at a stalemate or regressing if, if you don't have a good destroyer base. That's all. That's why I've always said the solution to the problem is make better destroyers, make better destroyer players, and you have a well-balanced game. But if you're going to introduce other classes such as the cruiser and the battleship, they're pretty much done. They're they're almost obsolete because you're introducing technologies that just let's like in real life time. eliminate the battleship and the, the cruiser player. Why even have this worship, worship game then, you know? Call it uh, Silent Hunter now and just play submarines and, for all I care because you can't do much with that uh, kind of makeup. So sorry for my uh, little bit of ranting there, but it is a constructive criticism that needs to be addressed. Otherwise, this game is going to start playing and not be a filming because you really can't do much about having the destroyer player being eliminated from the game. I mean, that is the bread and butter of the game, honestly. And... That's also a negative because, like I just said, if you eliminate the bread and butter of the game, the game becomes stale. It becomes a non-progressive thing because nobody will push up. Nobody will move forward and play the game like it's intended, right? Let's see what we got here. We have an FDR, a couple of tier nines, a gearing, and a submarine. Okay, now watch what I just did there. I checked up the makeup of the game so that we can figure out what kind of strategies we require here. So four, I didn't need more submarine at all. Let's see what he's doing. All right, let's see. All right, so we got torpedoes coming at us. Torpedoes to start. Launch that. We're already spotted. Torpedoes, the All right, put the 12 marker. See, I put the torpedoes 12 right in the center of the ship there. And we'll 
Yeah, yeah, I got some stuff in my hands. What do you do? Alright. Alright, we got a Minotaur shooting at us. Take a shot right there, see if it take a hit. And that's uh, okay, not bad damage. We got a destroyer player out here, so we're taking some damage. Let's recruit some of that damage back. We got quick cool, cooldown times. Ooh, nice. We got the Shimikaze. Let's see if my secondary build will actually do something. I like the Ohio secondary man, they're just awesome. Alright, he's back up, so we can take a nice shot here. He's back up to our target. We pull the trigger from the rear. He can back up into our shell. See if it was actually connect. Hey, we got two. Not bad. All right, where's that submarine again, man? Look at this. We have submarine destroyers everywhere with a blow, and he is literally unabated. I mean, what more can you do? All right, there's the smoke there. Oh, here he is. He's right there. Oh, he's moving poor problem. Oh, he's going after me. Oh, interesting. Nothing I can do about that. Torpedoes astern. Hey, I'm the only one pushing here on the west side. Let's see if we can get Torpedoes to starboard. Okay, these torpedoes are coming. Maybe let me see if I can take out any damage combos. I don't want them to hit me. He's going to go left there. I'm going to aim this front. See if they can come back. Ooh, nice. We dodged. Whoa. Look at that. Dodged all that. All right, good. They took out their submarine. Thank goodness. Submarine's out of the game. Not fun at all. All right, let's focus on this little mafia here. All right. Problem solved, sir. I'm also homeschooling my daughter here, too. So forgive me if I'm muting my microphone to talk with her. She's doing a math problem here. He's not moving. Shimakaze's gone. Amagi's off to the front. All right. We're not spotted, which is a good thing. So, look, this is all I can do. Okay. I'm going to go here and push the flank. They it forces their team to maneuver and react to that. Almafi's not pushing up. So, the rest of our team should be able to go cap, right? I mean, that's the idea of the game. Vincent, Ohio are all in the back here. I don't know why Vincent's sitting in the back here. I mean, you're really tanky and heavy, and you're almost better than me as an Ohio. So, let's go ahead and push. FDR is out in the background there. Shimakaze is doing what he's supposed to do. Thank goodness. Way to go, Haku. Good oh, show. man, I'm actually praising a carrier player. No, I can't do that. Hey, you killed a guy, whoop de doo but that's not fair anyways for the destroyer player. I, I'm a destroyer player, and I don't like that kill. I don't like a, a carrier or a carrier being able to eliminate a DD, although that's what you're supposed to do in a carrier, but I don't like that. I'm a DD player. I support the DD player. Good on him. Why am I shooting HE? I must have accidentally press the button. All right, look at that. Five minutes in the game, we got 19,000 damage. We capped a whoop de doo Now, there's nothing more I can do. Why chase this Amagi? Uh, I'm literally now trying to push the Bravo team. Yeah, you see, look, my team's even... My even, my Mino is 6755. Great situational awareness there. At least you know to tell your team to push up because why? They're not doing it. All right, this Battleship player is in the back. He's not doing anything, so... Let's see. Put the 10 marker there. I'm assuming he's going to be right there 10 seconds out. He's gonna, probably going to turn away. I like the Ohio disperse. It's pretty good. I'll start Salem. Oh, we had the other Ohio pushing it forward. Let's go attack the Ohio. So I guess our team now, is the objective here is to kill this Ohio and push forward. All right, the rest of their team is uh, moving in the back. Let's go ahead and push back and support Bravo. See what the the, 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 uh, the presence of a submarine can do. It can cause just chaos and headache. And look at that. Charlie, Charlie Flank over there is just not able to do anything. I mean, two versus six. Come on. It's not even fair. All right, let's see if we can shoot. Put the eight marker there. Should, should be a nice set of all, hopefully. Yeah, see, I, I didn't lead very much. Maybe I should put... That's why I always put the 12 and 14 marker over there. You hit better. Nice. Ohio goes down. All right, there Ohio goes down. I'm the Ohio left, but we have an advantage there. Ooh, Amagi wants to play around. Look at that. Amagi wants to play. All right, let's take, swing our guns over here. Ooh, nice broadside shot right there. Put the 14 marker there. He won't go through. I put this, I, notice that again, I always put the sweet spot for that range, 14 to 16. And notice where the shells are going. They're going to probably land right there, probably, right? Yeah, look at that. See? 14 seems to work out really well. And we got a bump kiss. Nothing there. Ooh, let's see if we can sit this Mino. Now, look at the light cruisers. You got to know your game. So, if you do notice the Mino is a very a light cruiser right now. With him being broadside and we have 457 caliber guns, this shit hurts him a lot. 
And we just gotta wait to get around the corner. So I, yep, there's this corner. And ooh, now he's turning. Ooh, no, never mind. All mouthy. Yep, they're all turning. They all got chicken. Which one turns the most here? Waiting for a full broadside. Yep, they know how to play the game. All right, Minotaur is turning, so I'm gonna put him right where I think he's gonna be. He should turn right into him. Come on, where do they go? Where do they go? Come on, give me. Oh man, yeah, the see those shells that go right through like cruisers, just like, just like butter, knife through butter, right? So, this game is pretty much still an undecided. I mean, I would say we still, they still got a chance, maybe if they did something. That's All right, he's turned in. It doesn't matter where here. I think I overmatch a lot of their armor here, so he turns the right here. Uh, they know how to play the game. Let's do. Nope. Minotaur. Yeah, that was a quick shot to see where he goes. Now, Magi is still showing full broadside. We'll shoot him next. All right, cool on FDR. Let's see what you can do against Ohio AA. AA, AA, AA is trash, by the way. I don't agree with it. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, nice. They're all dead. Ooh, nice broadside. Magi, but I'm behind a mountain, so it's not going to work, anyways. We got a Georgia coming up here. We're going to face him in a minute. Let's see here. Ooh, nice. Here we go. 14 on the broadside. And All right. You know, it's the 14. Is that? Yep, he's turning away. Ooh, is he turning away? Let me see if I can get that. Yeah, he turned away for the torpedoes. No good. No dice. I don't like sniping match fest. This is boring. I mean, I'd rather go in and brawl. That's why brawling is so much more fun. 50 yards coming back at us again, but we're next to our Ohio, so hopefully that uh, helps us out. And up behind a mountain there, we'll wait. And we're pushing. We're pushing Bravo. You're actually working as a team, guys. This is awesome. FDR. I hate. I used to like FDR, but it seems to be too underpowered now. I think they nerfed it so much that people complain about it too much that it's not really a viable option. Alright, and right there. Hopefully he turns into it. But 10 and 12, let's see where that spread goes. Maybe, see, they always hits the 14 mark. See where I aim right there? Dang. Can't get a nice, decent shot these days. All right, we'll put the 14 on the midsection right there and see if we can get a shot. Ooh, Almalfi, full broadside. We gotta get this Almagri out, though. Yep, yeah, they turned, they saw, they know the fire is coming. Yeah, we're just trying. Ooh, what are you turning into my shell? That'd be funny if you did. Oh, that'd be funny. Oh, who's shooting now? Minotaur. There you go, Minotaur. At least you're doing something, right? All right, we're going into a saturated area. I'm a, ca a battleship player capping. Not very good, right there. Ooh, he's backing up. Let's see if he slows down. Nope, he's dead. Never mind. Let's see. If he no, he's going too far. Let's see what we can do. Let's go ahead and get out of here and start taking on some battleships. Let's do at least some kind of... Where did my shells go? Oh, almost got him right there. He's only 504 left. My goodness, why couldn't we kill that guy? All stations, reporting the position uh, of a strategic see if I can reach target. Him. All stations, plane up. concentrate fire on the target. Spotter airborne. Roger. Only cruiser detected. That was just a top shot of the draft. No idea where this is going to go. Well, at least one of my shells hit him. No way. Is this a sniper shot? Come on. Oh, missed him by inches. We're about to run into a Georgia here, so we'll have the secondaries go on him. Ah, uh, nobody's spotting him. Who figures? Oh, pop the hill too early. I don't know why I did that. Well, this game's over anyways. You know, get the nice full broad shot on us. That's free free lunch right there, guys. All right, let's go ahead and uh, squid in this game. FDR is coming for us now. Yep, I do not like carriers anymore. I refuse to play them. FDR copper. Look at that. You can turn literally full 90 degrees. Pretty awesome. Right? We'll just turn it and We'll play the game. Oh, 
taking gosh. on water quickly. It's okay, we got the extra super heal. We can take it on. We can take damage. This is what we're supposed to do as a battleship player, right? We're supposed to take damage. I don't know. I don't like the game still taking. It's still fun. Spotter it's returning to fire and things. It's so fun. Ooh, stay on. Problem solved, nice. sir. Juicy target here. Popping heal, just having fun here, guys. Confirmed See, penetration. Did that full fitted on full fifty-seven on light. Let's go ahead and target the stadium. Might as well get him out of the game. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Every time you select different secondaries, it, it reduces your uh, rate. So you go fire. back to below fifty. So you got to do that. Ohio is just awful. We can think, think it's close. To Get a shot here. Come on, walk himself right in the shell. Ooh, a broadside Montana. Our team has taken the lead. Nice, finally got a kill. Good gracious. Only took a while to do that. Alright, yay. Very the last time the game. We're actually cruising the battleship that's off in the drift side and target. no where. No more heal shots if we use them all to survive that onslaught. No TZ going for me. Oh God, come on, kill this guy. There's only two planes left. Thank you. One plane down. Goodness gracious. These gunners. Oh, we do have a heal. Oh, I thought we ran out of heal for some reason. Oh, where'd that come from? No, we'll take one torpedo hit. All right, that's not bad. Man, we survived with that one heal. We took two million damage. Oh, that's why. Since we took two million damage, we get that extra heal. So that's exactly why I do that. That's this thing is good for tanking. Look, where's my team? They're all in the back. And I get to go up front. I'm going up front and taking damage. Ouch! Goodness gracious, the Imagi came back and got me. See, that's why you always kill the guy in the back. Because guess what? He's gonna come back and haunt you. Don't worry, we got two million, two point three million damage. 104,000. That, that, I mean, that's, that's just the meta warships right there. I mean, we've already won this game. You know what, how it is. Amafi, please die. Yep, get the game over with. He is dead. There you go. There's the game. And all you have left is the Amagi in the back. Whoop de doo. Hey, but you can't blame him though, right? Because this team didn't really push or anything on the west side. We just overwhelmed him. So there's nothing he could have done. He was way in the in five minutes back here but hey we did our part you guys we did we tanked you, you see that was a good example of you know push when necessary and you're a battleship player you're supposed to push and take damage with your team unfortunately if your team is in the back you can't do really do much but anyways let's take a let's just do a, just a little chat here while we'll uh, finish up the game ohio one of my favorite battleships i'll play a couple more i've already posted a lot of videos of rhode island but i don't think there was secondary rhode island is very good because you can't do what i just That's did right there with the rhode island the rhode island just it's all baked in 32 millimeter and just doesn't work while well, at least ohio has a little heavier armor and quicker reload on the heels so you can do what I just did there a little bit better, but yeah, Ohio is better at that mode and the secondaries are awesome, but the Rhode Island can't do what I just did there. But just look what we did right there. Oh my gosh. 101,000 damage, 18 aircraft shot down. AA is pretty good on the Ohio. Not, I mean, again, A is trash, but did better what it, it's uh, sort of intended for. Secondary hit. I love the secondaries. I mean, for Ohio, that's exactly what you're building and designing it for. And then, let's see here. Yeah. Yep. Look, number one on the team. Guess what? Why? Because we pushed, ladies and gentlemen. If you push and you do the things you're supposed to do, you get points for it. And you're number one. Uh, let's see here. Seconders are still awesome. Fires. Yep. Did what I was supposed to do. Potential damage. Look at 2.3 million. And you get the extra heal. I had like literally five heals at the very end there. That's pretty good. Total. We're actually trying to capture points. My God, in a battleship. You're not supposed to be doing that. That's a destroyer player role. Let's see. All right. Look at the money. Okay. I've already did a video about this, but look, notice if I did not have premium, a premium account, right? Which you pay money for, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. If I didn't have a premium account, I was number one in the team. I did everything I was supposed to do. I would still be losing in-game credits. It's literally not even a wash. You're losing money by playing the game. Not real money, but credit money. What? What is the point of that? I don't understand. Okay. Now, I pay money for it. I'm making somewhat some money, even with modifiers and bonus packages. I've only made five, sorry, 300, 630,000 ish, right? But look what it costs to play the game. It costs, you're telling me just to play a fake ship, they cost supplies and ammunition. 
I mean, if they did that in Call of Duty, nobody would play Call of Duty. Like, every time you fire a bullet, it costs some money to fire a bullet. What is the point of this? And then don't have a credit system if you're going to play it like this. You know what I'm saying? Just say, oh, I only make 200,000 credits. Yay, whoop to do. Use that to play the game. Stop doing the signal re resupply. That's why I stopped adding signals now. If signals cost just as much to play the game, what is the point of this game? You know, so again, not not to not to be negative or anything. I'm just saying this is constructive criticism. Get better. The war game needs to do a better job of this because you're literally going to kill your business model if you're costing fake money to play a fake game in cyberspace. That you're charging fake money for it. Doesn't make sense. Anyways, uh, look forward to doing some more clan battle videos uh, coming up. Um, I'll do another uh, video with Ohio here in a minute. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You want to take a look at the build here at the very end of the screen? This is the full secondary build, except for uh, the auxiliary modification too. I don't do that because I don't really need better reload on the secondaries. I think they're strong enough, but you do need the aiming system uh, dispersion because these shells need to be accurate at long distances for Ohio. I noticed that the Americans' uh, battleships don't really get very good uh, dispersion, so you just taking this addition it very, works very, very well. Damage con concealment, mostly focused on the secondary aspect of it. And here's my commander build. Normally, I would have a 21 point commander, but I'm trying to rank this guy up to get him 21. But it really wouldn't matter much because the last four points would be spent on either fire prevention or concealment or an extra heal. But I noticed that I've added this improved repair, repair party, which is awesome. You get your repair party cooldown pretty good. And, that, and you can notice at the bottom there activates uh, at 2 million potential. You get an extra heal. So this kind of negates that. So you might as well spend the money somewhere right here. So if this actually gets you that extra heal back, which is pretty cool. Uh, could you have taken basic strong? But yeah, you could. But with the heals being so good and the damage con coming off, uh, or the repair party coming off pretty quick uh, with this uh, emergency repair specialist, it's pretty good. You don't really need this, I don't think, because you're not. You're going to be in the back most of the time, and then you're going to push later in the game. Quick third traverse, and of course, focused on the secondaries here. This is long range secondaries, getting them out to eleven point three, and of course, you get the manual secondaries. I like that for the better dispersion. Uh, over time gradually but again this is kind of a wasted skill if you can't push in so do it with with what you will now, number of fires i like this to reduce the main battery and but the main battery is already decent 457 that's reloaded 27 and a half with adrenaline rush kicking in it's pretty easy you don't really for a battleship 20 plus seconds is not bad i would rather focus on some kind of survivability skill either fire prevention works all the time or concealment you notice i was spotted the majority of the time there what would this do? It would get me down to 14 on the, the Ohio. Is that decent? You know what? You're spotted from the moon at 14 anyway. It's a lot of, there's a lot of DD players. Every time you fire, you're going to get spotted. So I don't know. Concealment nowadays doesn't seem to be a viable advantage because you're not trying to sneak in with a battleship and trying to be all sneaky and everything. I mean, you're a battleship. You're designed to tank. So either you take the extra heal or we do fire prevention. I'll have to think about that one. So probably I'll, I'll just do fire prevention and see what I can do from there. But anyways, hope you guys liked the video. Like, subscribe, bell button below. Appreciate all the support. At 2,000 subs, we're giving a free premium DD giveaway and look forward to that as well. Thanks for supporting the channel right now. And uh, we're doing great, almost 2,000 subs. Anyways, look at that, beautiful. You know, from since I'm in from Asian background descent here, I love these kind of designs. It's the year of the dragon, very, very lucky. I'm the year of the pig. So once I do the pig um, kind of look, I'm looking forward to that. But anyways, great background. The art department does great work. And the reason why I really like this game a lot is just for the visuals. I mean, look at the visuals right there. Visuals of this ship are amazing, especially with the background. And I just love what they're doing right there with visual and graphic dynamics. And what they need to improve, their next step, is to make the ship more lively. Add people, manning the guns, making fire, doing all that kind of thing. Things blowing up just like in a real real-time strategy game or first-person shooter a little bit more focus on the attention to detail there okay as always you guys stay safe and look forward to seeing you guys soon cheers